Well, Brandy, you said it. This case has gripped that community for nearly 50 years. In fact, after this news conference at the district attorney's office, we spoke to a retired police officer from Newport Beach who was heavily involved with this case, and he kept saying over and over, we got him. We finally got him. I want to get straight to the suspect. This is a photo of 72-year-old James Allen Neal. Prosecutors say he was arrested in Colorado Springs this week. Investigators believe he is responsible for the 1973 kidnap and murder of 11-year-old Linda O'Keefe in Newport Beach. O'Keefe disappeared while walking home from school. Officers discovered her body the next day in the back bay. She had been strangled. An extensive search was launched to find the killer with DNA that was found at the scene but came up empty. Homicide detectives have reviewed that case year after year, multiple times, but the case went cold. Now, in July, Newport Beach PD launched a Twitter campaign to renew leads in the case, also using DNA progression technology to create a new composite of the suspect. Recently, though, using new genealogical DNA technology, similar to what was used to find the suspected Golden State killer, the district attorney said detectives were led to Neil in January, then able to collect further DNA and make an arrest this week. The police department says this brings some closure to the family, the community, and the officers involved. Linda's face and her memory has been with us and our um, investigators since the day this happened. And her, uh, her picture hangs in our detective division where our, where our folks see it every day um, as a reminder of, of her and uh, a reminder of why it's so important that we uh, continue to pursue these cases and uh, hopefully come to some kind of resolve for the families, for our investigators, but also for our community as well. Now, Neil is being held in Colorado Springs as we speak. He's due to make his first court appearance this afternoon. It is yet to be seen if he will waive extradition and be brought here to Orange County. At a minimum, he faces life in prison without the possibility of parole. And the district attorney says they are weighing and considering the death penalty. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.